this is continuation from previous video for part one go to technotip.com and search for email validation php now let me write login.php this is a simple script wherein we check the database whether the username that is email address and encrypted password matches it is more than just a simple login file because here we even check whether the email account has been activated or not again for login tutorial on php please visit technotip.com and search for login tutorial using php watch this video only to see the methodology we are using here for email validation but the coding part please copy it from directly from our blog technotip.com let's see how the login.php works this is the form we just designed now we have to get started with log.php the names we are using here are n for email that is we are treating it as username here p for password this file need to be connected to the database because we are checking these user entered values against our database whose detail is stored inside db.php now using post method we are taking the user entered values and storing inside email and pass variables n and p the names of the input fields in our form now let's, now let's write, write a simple, simple sql, SQL statement, statement. Check, check whether, whether these, these combination, combination of email, email and password, password exist in our, in our database. database. If it, if it exists, exist, the result, the result will be 1 or else it will be 0. Remember, Remember we had MD5, MD5 encrypted, encrypted the password while, while registration. So, so we need, we need to, to md5 encrypt, encrypt the user, the user entered, entered password, password and, and check, check it against, against the, database. the database this is, this is email, email not name executed it using, using mysql, MySQL underscore query, query built-in built -in function now no. fetch, fetch the, the array result, result stored in, stored in, stored in dollar, dollar res, res variable, variable. Inside, inside that fetch, fetch the first row, row. In, this in this case that is the that only, is the only represent. row present so, so row, row of zero, zero is, greater is greater than zero, zero. If, it if it is greater than, than zero, zero then this combination, this combination is, is present, present inside, inside the database, database. so, so login, login successful. successful 
But in our script, we need to consider another criteria whether as to the user has activated his email account or not. So once the login is successful, we need to check whether the email account has been activated or not. So this, so this information, information is stored in ACT ACT which stands, which stands for activation, activation. ACT field, field inside our database login, login. So, so select ACT from, from login from, from sorry, sorry it's, it's table, table login, login not database, database. So, select so select ACT from, from table, table login where email is equal, is equal to email, email. Which email, which email ID? ID. So, if so if act is zero, is zero then, then the email account, account has not been activated. If it's, if it's one, one, then it's, it's been activated. activated. We, shall we shall just display these, these two messages. Two messages. If, if act, act is zero, zero we, shall we shall say please go and, go and activate your email, email account by clicking on the link we have, we have already, already sent to your email, email address. If it if is, it is one, one, we will say Maybe, Maybe congratulations, congratulations, your account has been activated, activated and you can, you can this, use, this use this application, application freely, freely from now. Something, something on those, those lines, depending, depending on your needs, needs of the application. application. Now, now dollar, dollar row of zero, zero is zero. zero. If it is zero, then, then the email, email account has not, not been, been activated. activated. So we, so shall we shall type, type some relevant messages. messages. Please, Please activate, activate your account before, before proceeding. proceeding. Let's, let's keep it simple for now. For now. Else, Else, if, if it, it has been activated, been activated your account activated. activated. Smiley, maybe. maybe. They'll, they'll be happy for you. That's it. That's it. Now, now this, this simple, simple technique of sending email to the user inside this reg.php. Look, look at the variables here. Dollar $E already has the email ID of the user where the user entered it during registration process in registration form. The content I'll write inside another variable. Click, click this, this link, link to activate, to activate your, your account. account. Now, now the link. link. Make sure, Make sure to, change to change the link according, according to your application, application. location. I'll, I'll write technotip.com slash maybe your I'll, I'll write technotip itself. itself. Dot com slash R E or, or demo. demo. Let, Let me give, me give demo. demo. Slash R E G dot PHP, which this, this page, page itself question, question mark will pass, pass two, two parameters that is email and a random, a random number, number which is. Random, random number. Sorry, sorry the, in that link, link we typed previously, previously, we should give not, not reg.php but act.php activated or not. We will check it inside another page. So the content and next field is from, from field. The mail function receives. The first, the first parameter, parameter to whom, to whom we, are we are sending next subject, subject next, next content and from whom it has come. This, this one is not, not reg.php, but, but 
kct.php which we need to write now in order, in order to, to check, check if, if this email id and random number combination is actually present inside the database it's simple, simple. It's, very it's very simple, simple. see, see we, need we need to check it against, against the database, database. So, we so we are again including the db.php file which contains details to connect to the database we are, we are working, working on once, once the, the user clicks, clicks on, on this, this link, link the email address and the random number is sent to act.php using get method which we will receive inside act.php file. Once we receive, we receive and store it inside email and rnd variables, we need to write a simple SQL MySQL query and check whether these combinations are present inside our database. So, so this is the simple SQL statement. Select. We will again, again write random See, we, See can we can use these, these two techniques. We can, we can write select count, count star from, from login where email is equal to inside quotes dollar email and R A N D random is equal to dollar R N D and check if it's the result, the result is one or zero. If zero those combinations are not present. If one, if one those combinations are present. In this, In this case, case, we are we doing it somewhat differently. differently. We'll, we'll check, check the random number of the email, the email, and email of, the of the user. If, if that, that random, random number matches, matches with, with the random number present inside, inside the database, then, then we will, we will change, change the value of ACD in the database to 1, one which means the email account has, has been successfully activated. activated. We need, we need to update, to update. If, if these, these two, two values, the, the value, value stored, stored inside dollar row of, of zero, zero and the R and D random number, which we, which we got after, after the, user the user clicked the link, the link inside his email ID. ID. If those, those two are same, same then, then we need to update the value, the value of act inside, inside the, the database, database, which means the email account has been successfully activated. activated. So update, so update login, login set ACT is equal to 1. Okay, okay we, we need, need to make it where email is equal, is equal to dollar email. email. So, so after, after updating, updating it, we need to give a message, a message that account, account has been activated, activated or else the link is, is not, not working or wrong URL, or URL something, something on those, on those lines. lines. So, so drag, drag and drop, and drop it inside, inside your, your FTP, FTP account. account. Register. Register. Please, Please activate, activate your account, account by logging into your, into your email ID. Okay, like okay, let me try to log, log in before, before activating, activating the link. link. So nothing so nothing is there. Let me... Type, type some, some message, message here. here. Please, Please activate your account. account. Okay, let okay, me click, click it first. first. No, no. Before, Before clicking, clicking this link, let us, let us try, try to log into our account. 
before, before clicking the, the link. Login, Login successful, please, please activate your account, account before, before proceeding. proceeding. This, is this is the message we have typed, typed inside our PHP file. So now, so now let's, let's click on the link and activate it. Click, click on it. Account, account activate. activate. Now, now log in. Login, Login successful, leave our account activated. activated. Nice. nice. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching this video. video. Please, please share it with your friends, friends. and please copy, copy the code, code from our main blog, blog technotip.com. This, this video uses, uses some different, different PHP, PHP code, code which may not be 100% right. right. So we have, we have modified, modified it to for, for more accuracy and more, more user, user friendliness. friendliness. Please, please get to technotip.com and search for email, email activation, activation PHP, PHP and get the, get the code, code from there. Thanks, Thanks for, watching. for watching. Please, please spread, spread this video to your friends. friends. Share, it, Share on it on YouTube. Like, like it on your YouTube. YouTube. Like it, like it on, on Facebook, Facebook share, share it on Facebook, Facebook Twitter, etc. Thanks, Thanks a lot, lot for watching. watching.